Hello everyone. Um, this is Paulette Burnside here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up MetaTrader 4 on your iPhone. Now, what I want you to do before we get started is I want you to go over to Facebook, and I want you to like my page at I am Paulette Burnside on Facebook or at Let's Learn 4X together. All right, and also if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know how you um, like the video. Also, um, share this video with others who may need to set up MetaTrader 4 on their iPhone. And also tune in or subscribe to my channel so that you will be able to get more helpful videos from uh, myself, Paulette Burnside, or either my husband, Mr. Cyril Burnside. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head on in and we're going to set up um, the MetaTrader 4 on our iPhone. All right, so... What you're going to notice here is you're going to get to your home screen um, of your meta of your um, iPhone. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to actually click on um, the MetaTrader 4 icon. And notice when you click on that, you're going to see some currency pairs or what they call symbols flashing here with the spread bl below it. All right. Now, you have two views in which you can view this home screen for the MetaTrader 4. Right now, notice the blue advanced is highlighted. So this is what they call the advanced view. All right. Now, if we click and highlight the simple view, notice the simple view does not have any spreads. OK, now typically I will trade in the advanced view. All right. And so I'm going to leave the advanced view highlighted. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a or log into our broker account with the MetaTrader 4. OK, we're going to actually connect the two of those. That's what we're going to call it. Now, what we're going to do here is you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on the little wheel right here at the bottom that says settings. You're going to click on that. Now you're going to get to the screen that says settings and you're going to click on new account. Now, when you get to this screen, you notice there's three options. Start without registration, open a personal demo account, or log into an existing account. Now, if you opened an account with a broker, like let's say Traders Way, LMFX, JAF, X, any other broker, what you're going to do is you're going to click on log into an ex existing account. Now, for the sake of this example, I have opened a broker account with Traders Way. All right. Now, we clicked on that, log into an existing account. All right. And I'll go back and show you that one more time log into an existing account. Now when you get to this screen, it's going to say servers and you're going to notice a gray box here that says enter company or server name and it has an hourglass. That means search. All right. So now you're going to click in this box and we're going to type in the name of our broker. All right. And you'll notice all these brokers, broker names that are coming up. All right. But we're actually looking for a Trader's Way demo. OK, so now Trader's Way demo comes up. I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring me to the login screen. All right. Now, this login came from your broker and an email. All right. It's your username. It's your MetaTrader 4 login. And this is always a set of six numbers. All right. It's going to be six numbers um, that you're going to log in with. All right. So your broker actually sent that to you via email. Now, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go ahead and type in my, um, my login number, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the enter password. And I'm going to enter my password right there. Now that I have entered my password, what I will do is I'm going to, you notice right here where it says save password, that may be green. Or if it looks like this, you're just going to tap on it and make it green. So it will save your password. All right. Now you're going to click on the sign in in the top right hand corner. Click sign in. And notice when you sign in, 
the currency pairs will populate. All right, now if you click sign in and you get an error back saying that it's the wrong username and password, then you need to go back to your email and check um, the email that your broker sent and put the correct username and password in. All right, now, now that we've gotten to this screen right here, now that we've gotten to this screen right here, um, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the currency pairs. If you notice, we only have a couple on this home screen, and we want to add the rest of the currency pairs. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this plus sign in the top right-hand corner. So go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to notice your first category. And the first category for my broker is ECN. Yours may say something like Forex, or it may have a different category, all right? But it's okay. Just go ahead and click on the first category. And then you're going to click on um, the green plus sign that's next to all the currency pairs, all right? You're just going to keep clicking on them, okay? And that's what we're doing here. We're just clicking on these currency pairs, all right? And... Now that I have tapped all the currency pairs, I'm going to go click this back arrow right here. All right. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the next category, which is energies. And I'm going to add those three and I'm going to click on the green plus sign. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add the metals. This is where gold and silver is. All right. Gold and silver. Okay. Now I have added all the currency pairs. I'm going to click done. And notice how my list has gotten longer, all right? The list of currency pairs has gotten longer here, okay? And so now you have officially set up your MetaTrader 4 and you are ready to start taking trades. Now, if you want to verify that your money is actually in this account, what you can do is you can go down to the bottom. Notice this right here. It says trade all right, you can click on trade and it will show you the amount of money. It will say balance and it will show you the amount of money that is in your account. All right, notice I want you to pay close attention to where it says quotations, chart, trade, history, and settings. All right, become very familiar with these buttons down here at the bottom. Now, quotes is where you're going to go to see all the currency pairs. Um, chart is if you want to chart a currency pair. And notice how it highlights when I click on it. And trade is where you're going to enter trades. Then if you want to see the history on what trades you have entered, you can click on the history button. And then, of course, the settings button again. Notice, though, in the history screen, you have week, month, and custom, right? So you can actually do a custom lookup of all of your trades as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to click on the quotes at the bottom, which takes us back to what I like to refer to as the home screen of MetaTrader 4. And so, guys, with that being said, this is how you set up or log into the MetaTrader 4 on your iPhone. And so once again, go ahead and like my videos um, on um, Facebook. Also, leave me a comment, like our pages, and also um, subscribe to our channel um, 4X on YouTube because we will be posting tons of helpful videos for you to get started trading Forex. And so with that being said, have a great day and I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Bye for now.